Okay, guys, welcome back. We're still doing this RLC parallel circuit, and uh, I'm getting ready to draw these phasers. Now, I'm going to draw the current phasers, and I'm going to help to draw them with respect to the voltage because I'm going to draw them, you know, with respect to whatever these things all have in common. On a series circuit, guys, they all had the current in common, and so I had the current as the horizontal line. A parallel circuit has one voltage, so I'm going to have the voltage as a parallel line, and I'm going to draw these phasers one at a time with respect to the voltage. Now, this is a resistor. I'm going to draw it first. That 33.33 amps is in phase with the voltage because it is IR. There it is. IR is equal to 33.33 amps. Okay. And the next phaser we're going to draw is, I don't care which one, we can draw either one. So let's just draw this one first, IXC. Now it is a capacitor. Capacitors cause the current to lead, which means I must draw this current leading or counterclockwise from the voltage by 90 degrees. And uh, if I were to draw that 25 amps leading, it would have to be counterclockwise. And I'm going to draw it tip to tail. It would sit here, but I'm going to move it right to there. Okay, so this is going to be IXC. It is going to be 25 amps. The last phaser I'm going to draw is IXL. That is an inductor. Inductors cause the current to lag by 90 degrees, so they're going to be clockwise. It'll sit right down here, but I'm going to move it tip to tail, and so it'll sit right here. Okay, and that red line right there is going to be IXL, and it's going to be equal to 16.67 amps. And this little business right here, guys, that is going to be called IX. Okay? And IX is going to be the difference between these two. Just take the bigger one and subtract the smaller one. So it will be 25 minus 16.67. And so IX, 25 minus 16.67. It is 8.33 amps. Now, all these currents that we're dealing with here are all actually hypothetical currents. They only are this va these values because I chose a voltage of 100. If we chose a voltage of 50, we'd have completely different currents. It doesn't matter because we would have the same sort of a diagram. The values would be different, but it would look the same. Okay, So this is our hypothetical I total here. And I can calculate our hypothetical I total. It is going to be 8.33 squared plus 33.33 squared. And so let's do that for a second. Um, and that's because of the Pythagorean theorem, right, guys? It's going to be 8.33 squared plus 33.33 squared. And so let's do that. 8.33, I'm going to hit squared here, plus... 33.33 squared equals root equals, looks like it is 34.36 amps. Now that is not the answer to this, okay? That is simply the total circuit current. It is this step that we took right here. It is the sum of the three currents in the circuit, but it is the phasor sum of those three currents and it will always be a right angle triangle like this okay with the resultant being the total circuit current now how am I going to calculate impedance well I'm going to do it using Ohm's law the impedance of the circuit will be the total voltage divided by the total current okay and so it'll be the hundred volts that I dreamt up over the current 34 0.36 amps that would occur if I use that voltage. And so let's try that for a second here. 100 divided by answer, it is 2.9 1 1 ohms. Okay. Now, I 
I know. I know. It's a lot. All right? So to summarize here, guys, if you see a parallel circuit that is an RLC parallel, if there's a voltage, go with it. Okay? Calculate the three currents. Add the currents as phasors. Use Ohm's law to calculate the impedance. If there's no voltage, dream any voltage up. Now, if you use 50 and I use 100, we will have completely different currents, okay? But it doesn't matter because you will use your voltage over your current and you'll get the same impedance that I do, okay? It doesn't matter what voltage you dream up there, your impedance should end up being the same. And that's because the impedance of this circuit has nothing to do with the voltage that I choose, okay? Because the impedance of this circuit is based on the ohms of the gadgets in it, okay? These are just hypothetical currents that I would get if I used 100. But the impedance is built into this circuit in the factory, basically. And so we calculated it right there. Now, we've got two more things to calculate here, guys. One is the phase angle, and one is whether this circuit is leading or lagging. Now, the phase angle, I can see it right there. All right, guys, and I'm gonna calculate it my favorite way. We'll do it right over here. The angle is going to be the opposite over the adjacent inverse tan. Here's the opposite side, guys, 8.33. Here's the adjacent, 33.33. Shift tan, 8.33 divided by 33.33 equals shift tan equals. Looks like the angle on this guy is 14.03 degrees. Okay guys, so we'll put that right here, 14.03 degrees. All right, and the last thing we're going to worry about here on this particular question is what is this circuit leading or lagging? Now, I don't care if it's a parallel circuit, a series circuit, or a combination circuit, or some other kind of circuit, okay? When I'm asking you about leading or lagging, I'm talking about the current. What's the current doing? So how am I going to figure it out, guys? Well, I'm going to identify the current phaser. Now, on a series circuit, guys, the current was the horizontal line. On a parallel circuit, the current is the hypotenuse. I don't care which circuit it is, identify the current. Decide whether it is clockwise or counterclockwise from the voltage or impedance, whichever one you happen to be looking at. Here's the voltage, there's the current. The current is clock counterclockwise. That means this circuit lags, okay? What does this mean? I've showed you this before. I'm gonna show it to you one more time. It just means that if I were to look at this voltage, and this current, I would see that the current was lagging the voltage by 14 degrees. Let's draw it right here. Here's your 100 volts or whatever voltage you chose. Here's your current um, lagging, okay, by 14 degrees. Okay, there's the current, there's the voltage. All right, guys, so that's what that means. I mean, this thing's causing the current to lead. This thing's causing the current to lag. So, you know, which one wins? <sighs> Terrible. Hey, guys, I hope this makes sense. And uh, I'll probably take one of these up for homework for you. All right. So or next week, or maybe we'll do it in our Zoom meeting or something like that. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging in there with me, man. And uh, come back for parallel circuits when you're ready. Or combination circuits, I should say. Oh, homework. Unit 2, Hendo 3A. Have a good one.